Greetings, y'all. This is Priestess Monjashola. I just want to let you guys know about my free mentorship, When Magic is Black Academy. It is a 12-week, intense, fast-paced mentorship, okay? It's going to be about Ifa, Hudu, and metaphysical spirituality, okay? It is awesome, awesome, an awesome way to begin your healing, to begin remembering who you are and why you are, okay? You guys, make sure you guys check out the link in my bio before you go ahead and check that out. I mean, why not? It's free, all right? But it is work. So come in and ready to work. You have daily assignments and assignments that you need to get done in three tiers, all right? It's definitely, definitely worth it. I've been helping a lot of people. I started my own mentorship, okay? So this is all about what Priestess Montechella is teaching you, okay? So go ahead, click the link in my bio, get into this 12-week free mentorship. It's going to help you in your healing and remember who you are. Peace. Greetings, y'all. This is Priestess Montashola. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are my subby babies, and for those of you who are my new babies, welcome, welcome. Today, I'm going to be doing the reading for the sign of Cancer for July 2022, okay? It's Cancer season, so I want to say happy birthday to my Cancers. I hope you guys are celebrating very lovely with your Cancerian cells, okay? So let's see what's going on with you guys. For the month of July for 2022, okay? Get some of this smoke here. Let's see what's going on for your cancer. So as promised, like I said, I am going to be trying to do at least the Zodiac signs monthly. Zodiac tarot readings and energy ch um, check-ins monthly. Um, I am doing um, O'Shea services once a month as well. So I do put those lectures up that I have for O'Shea service. O'Shea service is traditional like church, but it's more Ifa based type of service. And depending on the day of the Orisha, um, I do a lecture or sermon, so to speak, based off their energy and the characteristics that we can relate to the human experience. Okay. So make sure you guys check those out. Spirit, let me know. Hey, Goon Goon, let me know the messages that we have for the sign of cancer for July 2022. Please let me know what messages that you have for cancer for July 2022. Thank you so much. And you guys, make sure you guys check out my website, honeyandwind.com. Um, that's where you can book your personal readings. Check out some classes that I do have on there. Um, also, two rituals that I may have going on on there. Um, and you can also check out my free mentorship and how to join there on my website, honeyandwind.com. Okay? It's too much spirit, but I will take the one that fit. Oh. All right. Let's see what's going on with the cancers here. I remember, so plan, the faded life versus a destiny life, okay? So a lot of us are remembering where we came from, from the cosmos to our human body, to where we are right now, okay? You guys may have been feeling this big shift that's going on here um, on the planet, and you guys are starting to remember what your purpose is, okay? The reason why you incarnated here in this life, and it's starting to tap into your higher self, your higher frequencies, and making sure that your 3D body is aligning with your 5D body during this shift. The great serving, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. Okay, so you guys may be in your Mars energy right now. This is a very masculine energy, very passionate energy. And you guys may have been doing some clearing of any anger issues that you've been having here lately. As far as anger that you've been having in certain relationships, um, even the relationship with yourself. Maybe certain things you've been regretting that you've done in the past or you've been having anger and conflict with certain people that you're in relationships with, okay? You've been very masculine, very passionate, and very active in this energy here, trying to resolve conflict and softening to love. 
maybe even those that you need to forgive and even yourself okay so you guys have really just been clearing a lot of this energy here in order for you to make sure that you're in alignment here with your 3d and 5d body okay you feel the call to do this all right we have the weight of the world boundaries let it go it's not yours to carry okay so like i said you guys have been doing a lot of clearing okay getting the weight off your shoulders clearing it out because you're trying to make sure that you're in a good vibration in order for your 5d body to be light okay you want to be in this light body without any cares of the 3d to hold you down okay so you're cutting off people that no longer serve you you're cutting off angers and energies that no um, I said angers and energies. What I meant to say is emotions, which could be um, anger. You're cutting off characteristics, certain in energies and, and emotions that no longer serve you, okay? You're letting it go. You're knowing that the battle is not yours, okay? You know that the ancestors, the most high, have you and will take care of the things that's necessary for, for to be taken care of, okay? You just have to know that you yourself um, need to vibrate higher and need to make sure that you're ascending in the manner that you need to ascend to with a light load okay so you guys have been clearing crying out here um, the reason why I'm kind of stuttering a little bit because I can hear my baby crying um, in the background so my mommy instincts kind of kicked in halfway there but that's probably what you guys are doing right now at this time letting go of those emotions letting go of this anger softening your heart okay becoming more forgiving of yourself those around you letting go of, of those burdens that's weighing you down and holding you down okay so that once we cross over into this 5d you won't be held back or held down by the 5d world and the 5d energies as well okay Right, what other messages do we have for cancer spirit what other messages do we have for cancer and if you guys are not doing this this is something that you need to do okay you need to be able to tap into your higher self and remember what your soul's purpose is remember the reason you came down and incarnated into this life okay what what are you supposed to be doing are you in alignment with your higher self okay are you still holding on to anger conflict aggressive energy okay is your heart hardened to love okay are you bitter holding on to things that that's weighing you down okay not mastering the boundaries that you need to have with other people and not letting go of certain people places things or even characteristics that you need to let go of that's not a part of your soul's journey okay you this could be the opposite for some of you cancers here okay some of you cancers are doing the work and some of you guys aren't all right and this is a reminder that this is what you need to be doing right now at this time okay this is a very critical time right now in our in our planet okay and if you're not doing the work this is the message to let you know that this needs to be done all right this is your sign what are the messages that we have for cancer spirit right now it's either you're doing the work or you're not just really no gray areas right now in this planet okay but, uh, you either is or you ain't you either woke or you sleep okay so we have beginnings east okay with the number three up there so that's letting me know that a lot of you guys are starting to shift okay starting to change okay east where the sun comes up where the sun begins with that word beginning there okay a lot of you guys are beginning to change a beginning to shift beginning to be illuminated by the truth here okay by the truth of yourself the truth of the world the truth of the people that are around you and the truth of who you are okay you're starting to recognize and be illuminated by truth all right we have attraction magnetism all right with that nine up there i'm sorry ten up there um with magnetism you guys are coming to completion here okay this is something that you um basically um how can i think of the word i'm ready to a brain fart you guys manifested this okay 
you guys attracted this okay some of you guys may use the law of attraction but you guys have done some work to where you can have this vibration that you're currently in okay to complete certain things that was conflict in your life certain things that was holding you down holding you back in your life right now okay you've you've mag you've i want to say magnetized you've manifested these things to end okay for this conflict to end for this aggression to end and you've manifested you becoming in alignment with yourself okay with your higher self all right and now you guys are starting to see the light Okay, you're starting to see the truth in the cosmos. You're starting to see yourself on how you look like in the cosmos, okay? From your physical body to your 3D body here, okay? You guys are doing a lot of reflecting right now, and your understanding has really, really expanded here lately to where you're starting to see yourself and feel yourself shift into a whole new vibration here. Your understanding has become very very powerful okay now to some it can be intimidating to some it can be quite scary but just know that your higher self always knows okay your 3d body may not know but your higher self always knows okay and just trust that trust your higher self trust that your higher self won't steer you wrong here messages do we have for cancer you guys may also have new relationships coming in here and these new relationships is going to be with people that match your vibration okay because you guys are going into a new chapter so you guys can no longer be around the people that no longer vibrate higher than you know where they should be all right, a lot of you guys have been around a lot of low vibrating people, all right, and you know that you're vibrating higher than, than what they are, so it's going to be hard for you to do the same things you used to do, okay? So you guys are just starting to, right now, to attract your soul tribe so that, you know, like attracts light, all right? These people match your energy, your vibration much better, and you're able to have the type of conversations that's needed for you to even have a deeper understanding of what's going on with yourself at this time. So new beginnings all around for you cancers. Yeah, you guys are walking away from competition, walking away from strife, walking away from the chaos that has been built in your life, okay? Because you guys remember who you are, what you're supposed to be. So you've looked around and see that these people that you have around you that are competing with you, that are fighting with you, causing chaotic situations with you, they no longer serve you. They don't even deserve to have your energy or your vibration around them. So you know that it's needed for you to move around. Okay, you know that it's time to complete this cycle with these people and to be more spiritual, to have a more spiritual, you know, base relationships, whether it be lovers, whether it be friends or even family members. Okay, but equal give and take what you pour into these people spiritually and logically, emotionally, you're going to get the same thing back from your new friends, from your new circle, from your new tribe that's coming to you because you see the more that you put into these people that's causing strife and chaos and destruction in your life, you see all they're doing is taking your energy here, all right? So that chapter is not closed and you're starting to be attracted more or attracting more people that are more spiritually minded, that are fair in relationships, okay? That does a, get, a equal give and take. What you give out is, is, is quickly reciprocated without you even asking, okay? Without you even asking. All right? Yes, okay. So you're definitely on, on a brand new, a brand new spiritual journey here with this um, Knight of Wands here. Very brand new spiritual journey. Your light, your light around you is even 
looking attractive. People are becoming even attracted to you because you're starting to have this certain glow about yourself, okay? You guys have been doing a lot of meditation here lately as well. And this is good. This is how you're starting to remember your purpose. This is how you're starting to remember what you're supposed to be doing. This is how you're able to heal the certain conflict and aggression and the anger that you guys have been having. And this is how you're able to let go of the things that has been weighing you down here in the recent past okay this is beautiful all right you know the four of swords is also about a soldier who has came back from war with that mars energy there you know mars also representing war and uh, aggression male energy here i'm sorry masculine energy here you guys have basically came out came back from war okay and you guys have been doing your meditations in order for you to recover from the war that you've been in, from the strife that you've been here in, here with this five of wands here, okay, you guys are in recovery, and you guys are healing out of that through your meditations, and this is beautiful, all right, you've done so much healing that you're starting to glow, you literally glowed up, okay, and this is beautiful, just make sure you don't turn around, okay, to the past, because the past will try to come back and offset you, okay, we have the Ten of Swords here that is now in reverse. So this is good. Your ruin is now gone. You've changed it. You've closed out this chapter to those people in the past that were weighing you down, okay? That didn't practice the boundaries. That tried to overtake and bombard your life and bombard your energy here, all right? This is very beautiful, Cancer. Very, very, very beautiful. All right, we have the Nine of Cups here. So this is wish fulfillment. Okay, this is something that you've manifested here. The same thing, just like the attraction card that came out there. This is something that you manifested. You've been wanting to be in this vibration. You've been wanting to be in this energy of peace, of elevation, of ascension, uh, clearing those things that no longer serve you, okay? Walking in light, okay? Lightheartedness in your light body and your you're becoming that light body. Like I said, you're starting to glow, okay? Some of you guys haven't fully ascended yet because this is something recently that you started to do, okay? Like I said, some of you guys have already been in this vibration. Some of you guys have just started, and some of you guys need to start, okay? Some of you guys need to start, but this will be the outcome when you do start, okay? These things will be let go from you, all right? This chapter needs to be closed from the past, from those people that no longer serve you, those people that cause chaos and destruction in, in your life, okay? You have a better future without them. You have to close that chapter for those of you who are not currently walking in this, okay? From a lot of you, this is confirmation, all right? Because you guys have been through a lot. It was hard for you to move forward because of the heartbreak of letting people go, of losing them. It was hard for you guys to lose them. Okay. Some of these people may be lovers. Some of these people may be family member that you had to let go of because they caused too much strife in your life, too much chaos in your life. All right. But no matter who they are, you have to make sure that you're loving yourself first. Okay. That you're putting yourself first remembering who you are okay you have to have that balance okay with the temperance card here you have to have that balance there okay some of you guys may be dealing with a scorpio not scorpio i just said scorpio it might be scorpio but some of you guys may be dealing with a sagittarius here that you had to let go of okay because there was no equal balance there was no equal give and take all right, you guys wasn't equally yoked, okay? You guys see things in two different ways, two different versions, all right? And being in that vibration with that person wasn't going to wasn't gonna allow you to grow, okay? So you have to let that go. And some of you guys need to let it go, all right? You guys take it how it resonates, all right? You know how this resonates in your life. What other messages do we have for our cancers? But for those of you who have been doing the work, I'm very, very proud of you, okay? Because that's what the world currently needs is love. Especially self-love. It begins with individual, everybody individually with that self-love, that true love. The love from God, the love from Gaia, the love from Source, the love from my ancestors. 
that's what helps everything to heal, to grow, nourished by water, okay? That is what everyone needs. That's the vibration that the, needs, needs, the world needs to be in, okay? Do we have any other messages for our Cancer Spirit? Any other messages here? All right, just keep going. Just keep going. Don't look back. Keep moving forward. You're starting to remember who you are. All right, you're about to be abundant in everything. In love, finances, you know, wealth, health. Abundance is not only just with money, okay? Abundance is with everything. You're about to have an abundant life, okay? And this is beautiful. This is what everybody wants. Especially when you're in alignment with yourself, with your physical body and your spirit body. This is what everybody wants here, okay? So continue to be in this alignment, in this high vibration. Continue to meditate to heal yourself, okay? To get out all the remnants of what's needed, okay? And we have the hermit card. Continue to take time to yourself to love on yourself and to nurture yourself, okay, Cancer? Sometimes you guys could be so nurturing here, all right? So giving to others that you don't take time for yourself to make sure you're going within to reflect all right self-reflection in that solitude time is always good for you to do okay so make sure you're doing that all right and your times of deep meditation make sure you're writing these things down as well so you can remember and then you can see how much you've grown and be that help to someone that you know in the future that could come to you whether it be a child or a friend or family member when they want to come to you and ask you how you did it, you can show them and tell them your story. All right, my cancers. All right, my birthday babies. This is your reading. If you do find this reading does resonate with you, please let me know by leaving me a like and or a comment. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. All right? I do do personal readings. Check out my website, honeyandwind.com, if you're interested. All right, cancers. Peace. Don't call them happy